All right, let's get into our news headline bulletin at 6.30. The EFF and the Free State says the imminent removal of Premier Sisi Ntombela will not benefit the people of the province. Ntombela lost the leadership contest of the Free State ANC to Cooperative Governance MEC Nkolisi Dukwana two weeks ago. However, the ANC and the Free State insists that it has not resolved to recall Ntombela. Opposition parties in the province say her possible removal is rooted in ANC's factional battles. Slain Bacardi music artist Itumoleng Museo, aka Vusi Ma R5, was laid to rest on, in Mabopani, I beg your pardon, in Pretoria ye afternoon, yesterday afternoon. Museo was gunned down last week in Soshanguve, and police are appealing to residents to assist in their criminal investigation. His fans and family came in numbers to pay their last respects. Yesterday marked seven years since the Lily Mine disaster near Barberton in Mpumalanga. The mine collapsed, trapping Priti Nkambule, Ivan Nise and Solomon Nirende underground. Their bodies are yet to be recovered. And South Africans Vota Kellerman, Zeik Spantwini and Nomkebo Zikode have won the 2023 Grammy Award for Best Global Music Performance for their collaboration, Bayete. Their win follows hot on the heels of last year's Grammy win by DJ Black Coffee in the Best Dance Electronic category. The 65th Annual Grammy Awards are being held in Los Angeles, California and hosted by another South African, Trevor Noah. This was Flautist Kellerman's fourth nomination and his second Grammy.